What's up, everybody? I hope you've enjoyed some of the other videos that I've been doing in the Westin Hotel that I've been filming with Jack Skellington and other toys. So today we're going to look at something very cool from the Disney Toy Box Infinity Style line. I know this one, you know, it's on my profile picture. And you know this was coming for my Jack Skellington. And it's this, Sorcerer Mickey from the Disney Toy Box line. Now, he's very cool and cute. You can see that his Sorcerer hat is nice with his uh, blue two stars and a moon. You can see that he's number 19 in the series. You have his name, includes a magic room. You can't have him without a magic room because it's the main part of Fantasia movie. So we have the Disney toy box on the side. We have the Disney store logo. Here's the bottom, but no more inserts. Here's one side with that cute artwork of Sorcerer Apprentice Mickey. Now on the back, you have Collect Them All. You have Sorcerer Mickey and Simba and Zazu. Review coming soon for Simba and Zazu. I also have them. So this cost $12.99 in the US, which I'm here now, and Canada in $17.99. But I actually got it for 9.74 USD if you've seen my Jack Skellington video. So here's some of the other places and some wordings. So I think it's time to get them open and I'm so excited. Yeah! Okay, we've got this out of the packaging. I'm so excited by the way. So we have a very nice blue background which kind of represents a star from a Fantasia about when Mickey shoots stars. So, we have Sorcerer Mickey's artwork, so I think I'm going to cut that out because it's actually glued in and it might rip off. So, let's get them all out. So, we have this magic broom, which we pop off easily. Now, let's get out Sorcerer Mickey. Okay, it's time to get them out. Hmm. <sighs> cool. Cool. All right, here's Sorcerer Apprentice Mickey out of the box. This is going to be very good. Also, by the end of this video, we'll compare him to his Disney Infinity counterpart and compare him to the old Mickey, which is the classic Mickey. So, let's take a closer look at Mickey. So, taking a look at Mickey, he looks very cute. It's a little different from the old Mickey because his face is a little different. And you get his hat. So it has three stars and one moon. And the cool gimmick is that it does come off. So you can have him like without the hat. So this was owned by Yen Sid. And it has a few holes so you could fit it inside. So that's cool. So this is part when Fantasia Mickey does his chores from the Yen Sid. So as you look through his body, it looks very cool. We have a nice round row with his... Uh, Nice red outfit. And as you can clearly see, let me show you there. As you lift the arms up, his clothing is so soft. It kind of like, it's very cool because like if it was a hard plastic, it'd be very hard for the waist like to make him do the split. So that's a nice choice. And taking a look at his arm, it's a very cool. You can see that it's very hard plastic on the arms. And you can see that the hands, they have a lot of it joints so as you look down his legs you can see that it's blue and it's a uh, black on that side and we have his nice mickey shoes and here's the bottom with two pegs so that's cool and for articulation wise his head is on a ball joint so you can make him look up about this far a little bit down which is like almost the flat state head pivot full rotation at the neck there's a ball joint, as you can see from right here, as I could like show you the camera. You can see that the ball joint is big, if I had to pop it off. So let's zoom it back in. Let me just adjust it. His arms do rotate all the way around. They can lift up to a T pose, so that's cool. Actually, it can lift up a bit farther. So the elbow single joint that bends about a 90 degree angle, 90 degrees, full rotation at the same joint. Rotation at the wrist, 
and as well as a hinge at the wrist. So, cool. We do have a full waist swivel, so that's nice. His legs, as we lift this up, it can kick forward about this far and kick a little bit back. So you can make him do the complete split. So let me just lift out the other leg. Let me just move that aside. So that's nice. So his knee bends about a 90 degree angle. So as you can see, that's good. Let me just pop it back. Full rotation at the knees. And for his ankles, they're on the ball joint. You can move it up about this far, a little bit back, and a good amount of ankle pivot. So, oopsie, just a minute. That's cool. So, for the accessories. For the accessories, you get a nice magic room where he uses to do his chores in the movie Fantasia. So, it's a little bit soft though, so you can just push it in. So it's a little rubber on this because if it was a hard plastic when I try to push it in It would be easy to break and then it would be bad for people out there. So that's a nice choice So here he is with the broom now for a comparison For a comparison, we're now gonna compare him to his Disney infinity counterpart as you can clearly see the Sorcerer Mickey from uh, the Infinity game is a little different because he has a brave, like, serious look on his face, while this one is a very happy smile. And as you can clearly see, it's almost the same. It's just the fact that this guy has more articulation than this. So, as you look through the back, the clothing is not rubbery on Infinity, but this one is. So, we have a base for Disney Infinity, but this one is just two peg holes on his feet, so... They're very different, by the way. So, if you see my Jack Skellington video, you can tell this is Sorcerer Mickey due to the fact that this Infinity statue resembles him. So, that's why. And now to compare him to the old Mickey. Moving the Disney Infinity Mickey out of the way, let's take a look at this Mickey. The Mickey is almost the same. It's just the fact that that Mickey has a nice two... Uh, dotted eyes which are white and this one does not this one's looking down as this is looking straight and you can see his tongue is a little pink on that as this one is red so they're very different and on the back they're nearly the same but however this head is a little bigger than the old one so i think we can fit this on this mickey so you can pop it in and here he is cool how do you like this cute Sorcerer Mickey? We have a question for you. Do you find the Sorcerer Mickey better or the old Mickey better? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. I highly recommend this. I will leave a link to the Shop Disney link to order this Sorcerer Mickey in the description below for your kid and anyone who loves Sorcerer Mickey. Happy 80th anniversary to Fantasia Movie. Also, stay tuned for the Disney and Toy Box figure of Simba and Zazu, so stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching this video, and to infinity and beyond. Peace.